I find when I have an accumulation of things coming on top of me, <laughs> like, you know, that I have to do this, I have to go out, and then I have to, but I have to wait for this to happen, and then I have to get this done, you know, I start to get pretty antsy and tired. Um, it's, it's hard to handle several things at once. So, um, you know, I, I try to, now I'm trying to just put aside, like take the most important thing and handle that first and then go to the next thing <laughs> because, because otherwise I collapse. I get really tired really fast and really jittery um, because I, I feel like I can't handle all those things, you know, together. <laughs> so, and nobody's telling me, okay, this is the order. No, I have to figure out what the order is. And then, you know, then I take it one thing at a time. So, th you know, that's really important for us in our, you know, in our situation where our life goes a little bit slower and it's a little bit more complicated to move from one thing to another. And especially if I need transportation or something, then there's another added layer <laughs> to, <laughs> to the whole thing. Um, so, and it's which transportation, somebody from the house, or do I have to call the county, or, you know, what do I need to do? So, sometimes for appointments and things, I'll take those first, because those require some scheduling, and um, making sure that, you know, that, you know, it gets done and scheduled, and then I know what time I'm leaving, and then I have time and space for the other things. So, you know, life can get complicated. <laughs> so, you know, when, if, if I didn't have the whole wheelchair thing and I didn't have, you know, the condition I have, I would, you know, I would be going about, I'd be still driving for one thing. <laughs> so... <laughs> And uh, let me just move the camera just a little bit. Yeah. There we go. I think it's better. Anyway, um, I gotta move it over here. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes just to have the camera in the right place. Um, so <laughs> it's it's crazy. Um, but yeah, scheduling things I do first. And then anything I need to do at the house, then I do those second, third, or last <laughs> because, because I'm here. And the objects or the things I need to change are here. So I don't have to go anywhere. So it's, it's that kind of thing. Um, I know that people who are driving, who, you know, have that, um, they have transportation already, they don't have to worry about that. Um, that sometimes they need to fix things or, uh, you know, it happens in a snap because they can do it, they're standing, they have the strength to do it, not a big deal. So, and in my case, it takes longer for me to do it. <laughs> and then I have to figure out the order in which I'm going to do things because sometimes I need space and time to do X, Y, Z. So, um, you know, so that's, that's really important for, for scheduling. And other people don't have to think about that. I have to think about it and schedule it. And then it happens very slowly. And then maybe things, you know, bump up a, against each other in terms of scheduling. So, or scheduling or doing something that might be harder to do, <laughs> what's going to take more energy? And those things that take more energy, I usually do them at the end when I know I'm going to get a good break. <laughs> so it is crazy scheduling. You know, when another person with normal energy and muscles that work just fine and they're on their two feet can just do it in a snap and then they're done. 
<laughs> and that's not the case for me. I don't know how it works for you, but you know, that's not the case for me. So I usually have to really leave something heavy that I need to do um, towards the end. And so, like one of the things is, you know, I took a shower today and that just wipes me out for quite a few hours. And then I can't quite do my bed. You see, my bed is undone. <laughs> so I won't do that until much later. But there's a member who said she would come in and do my bed, which saves me a ton because already the shower just wipes me out. There's just no way I can accumulate other stuff that I need to do. <laughs> so I have to wait quite a few hours to recover muscle strength to do other things. So, you know, I just want to say that uh, for any one of us to, to keep our frustrations down, you know, it's, it's good for us to kind of plan out our day and what's going to take more energy, what's going to take less energy, what needs to be scheduled, intensely scheduled. <laughs> So, you know, and to figure out um, what's going to, what's going to, what's going to give. So, and sometimes I just have to farm it out for someone else to figure it out or to do it for me, which I don't like doing. Um, but sometimes it happens that way, you know, either because my strength is not going to give or, you know, I just have to wait until the next day to do it, um, if, it if it's not time sensitive. So those things that are time sensitive, I think I tackle first. And those that are going to require a lot of energy, I wait for last. The, of course, the schedule stuff, I have to do it when it's scheduled. Um, but the things that are going to here at home that um, take more energy out of me. I wait until I know I'm going to have a good break after that so I'm not crazy doing stuff. So um, the bed, I could care less. <laughs> I'd probably do that at the end of the day, you know, when I feel like I have the strength to do it. Um, so, you know, whether the member comes in or not, um, and says, well, I'm not doing your bed, that would be fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it, you know, but it'll be until the end of the day when I get my strength back <laughs> from taking a shower. <laughs> oh, and um, right now I'm going to take a quick break because uh, I need to take some meds. So hold on, I'll be right back. Now for a big thing, you know, in June, I'm going to the um, the Abilities Expo down in uh, Illinois, which is in a different state, and I have scheduled transportation already, and I know I'm going to have fun, but that's a big trip, so I really need to plan well for for that trip and to make sure that I am rested and make sure, because I would prefer, and I said to the driver, I really prefer to go into m in my power wheelchair, because that way I don't spend energy I don't have. So, um, so for those kind of big things, I really plan way ahead of time. <laughs> Might sound crazy, but um, way ahead of time. You know, I figure out lunch and what kind of lunch box do I need to take, and um, then uh, how am I going to take that lunchbox? And, you know, I'm thinking now that I have a lunchbox that can just hang from behind my um, power wheelchair. Anybody steals that, and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to have this weird lunch. <laughs> so <laughs> so, um, so for that day... You know, I have to figure out lunch, and what box am I going to carry it in, um, where are the ice cubes that I need, you know, to put it in the box, and all this kind of stuff. 
uh, way ahead of time. So that day, I get up in the morning, and it's I'm cool as a cucumber because I have er everything in a row already. So for those big things, like, you know, when I went to see my family, I, you know, planned everything way ahead of time, and everything was just there, got up in the morning, and I just took my, su my stuff with me, and I didn't have to worry about anything. I didn't forget anything because it was just planned way ahead of time. So that's kind of the annoying thing of having a disability and knowing <laughs> that you just have to plan way ahead of time. And I'm thinking I have to tell the, <laughs> the aide because of meds that need to go with me. So um, I'm going to go do that now because I know she's somewhere around. So I will be right back. I also forgot to grab my morning lunch. <laughs> my morning snack, I mean. <laughs> See how my brain is just fizzling because I have a lot of things on my schedule today. Today is the 15th. All right. So those are my recommendations, you know, to kind of spread it out and tackle those things that need scheduling first, those things that require a lot of energy from us. Do them when you know you have a space to, to rest after <laughs> you do it. <laughs> like the bed, I'm not doing it until the end of the day. The 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 person who's going to do my bed, she doesn't have to, so I want to let her know, you don't have to do the, the bed. I will try to do my bed <laughs> to the best of my ability, but it won't be until the end of the day. And that she won't like because um, she'll want my bed done. <laughs> so <laughs> in case I need to lie down. But, and, you know, do the big thing is when you know you have a, a break to rest and recover, and then do the little things throughout the day, you know, and so you're not worried. Big things like, you know, my trip to Schomburg, that will need to be scheduled. Um, it's our, The ride is already scheduled, so the other stuff is, is little, you know, planning on what lunchbox I will use, planning on medications, letting the aide know I'm going to be out the whole day, so you know, I'll need the medications for, for the day and possibly the evening if we, I don't think we'll be that late, but for sure the midday meds. And then I'll have fun so I don't have to plan for the fun, <laughs> just the ride. <laughs> and hopefully, you know, I'll plan also to do some filming at the, um, at the Abilities Expo and uh, and do more promotions uh, about the expo. Uh, certainly at, um, uh, there's a travel agency, the travel uh, internet um, program that I participate in and that, yeah, that's just Alexa talking to me. <laughs> I already took my meds. <laughs> So, so you know, for that, I can't even remember what I was saying. Um, so it's just the little details now that I have to pay attention and make a list. But I don't know how you all do it, um, you know, especially for those who have, you know, issues with energy. I think anybody with a disability uh, is tired and has difficulty balancing the energy and the things they need to do throughout the day. Uh, so, you know, and I'm always saying so. I'm trying to get out of that habit, but it will come. <laughs> so those of us, <laughs> the I almost said it, uh, for those of us with energy issues, uh, we, we have to uh, sort things out and, and plan them carefully throughout the day so that we have the energy. Because if we accumulate and start wasting our, our spoons or our battery life, then we get really cranky. I don't know about you, but I get really cranky and I just don't have tolerance for anything else that comes onto my plate. Um, so, <laughs> see, I said it again. But at least I'm aware. Uh, 
you know, I just don't have any more patience for anything else, for anybody else, if I waste all my battery life, which is not fun. Then I have to sleep for a while to, to recover. Um, and so how do, you, how do you do it? How do you survive your day? How do you sort out your, how do you sort out your energy and what you know you can do in one day? And that's, that's another important thing. Sometimes I think the things, the list of things that I have, sometimes I'll put things off until the next day and do the more important things that need to be done because they're, they're a scheduled issue. And everything else, I will do it like the following day. I won't worry about it. So, so for me, you know, I try to push things off to the next day so I don't kill myself. <laughs> and, and just spend the rest of the day cranky and, and not happy. And I think that we want to be balanced and we want to be okay with with the day and sometimes things just can't be done so it's okay to have things to wait for the next day and that's that's what i've been doing lately like the bed <laughs> hey i can sleep on my recline <laughs> if i still don't have energy at the end of the day but but it's, it's true. Uh, I think that for me it's true that, because I, I can't represent everybody, it's true for me that if I start to notice that my battery life is, is almost at zero, I'll say, okay, <laughs> I gotta stop here and figure out what can I put on to tomorrow that's not urgent, you know, if it's something that's not urgent and I can fit it in for tomorrow, then that's what I'll do so that I don't end up pushing myself off a cliff today. And that is always my project and my goal is not to push myself off the cliff because then I don't have energy for anything. And I'm very cranky. And that's not fair either. Um, for myself or others, <laughs> because I will get a little snippy. <laughs> so let's think about this on, you know, how, how do we, how do you order things in which you can get things done, that you don't spend all your energy, and, and things reasonably got done? Um, and what kind of things do you know you can put on for the next day? <coughs> And it's not going to kill anything. <laughs> so let's think about that. Let's put down our list and how we order things in order to keep ourselves sane, keep ourselves happy, keep ourselves functioning throughout the day. And, you know, a list that will work for you might work for somebody else. So you've heard my scrambles here. Am I mumbling about how I process information and how I order things and how I put things on the list and I take things off and I know I can take smaller things and I put them on for the next day. So let's think about that. <laughs>